welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a soft face and bold lip tutorial. I did this look inspired by the new Viva Glam Miley 2 set here. I love these. I loved her first one and I love this one even more. The gloss is to die for. It has like these little shimmers in it. Oh, it's just so pretty. And at the end of the video, I did include some swatches and some side-by-side -side comparisons, so stay tuned for that. And if you would like to see how I achieve this look, just keep watching. I'm going to start this look off by applying my MAC Prep and Prime lip to my lips so that when it's time to go in with the lipstick, I'm already good and ready. You want this to be sticky whenever, not necessarily sticky, but kind of tacky whenever you put your lipstick on, or else it kind of has the reverse effect. So if you don't give it time to get sticky, which is usually like 30 seconds to a minute before putting on your lipstick, then it kind of has the opposite effect because when you put it on, it is slippery. And then if you try and put a matte lipstick on top of this, right away it's going to sheer it out and make it look more shiny, which is not what I'm going for. So I find that doing this before I start with my makeup, I don't have to sit there and wait for it to get to the point that I can put my lipstick on. I just go right in. So that's why I do that first. Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC to prime my lids. And I'm using this with a MAC 252. This is great for carving out the brows. Instead of going in with concealer as well, this will just go ahead and clean it up right away for you. And there are different shades. Soft Ochre is just my favorite. And again, I'm grabbing my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I really do grab for this palette a lot, so it's gonna translate over into my videos, that's for sure. So I'm using the soft yellow shade right here on a big fluffy brush from MAC and just putting this from lid all the way to brow. We call this brush the kitten paw. <laughs> it's really soft and it looks like a kitten paw. Next on my Sephora Pro Tapered Crease Brush, I am going to grab the orangey shade right here and use this as a transition shade. This look is not going to be all about the eyes, so it's going to be a very soft eye look, but I like for there still to be some color on the lid and whatnot, just so that it's not a blank eye and a bold lip. So I'm pushing this into my crease and above circular motions and just buffing that out. Now I'm going to go in with this soft gray shade pick up and tap off the extra. I'm first going to pop this into the outer V. So I'm placing it down, just kind of wiggling so that we deposit the color where we want to and not blending it up too far. Then I'm gonna take the extra and go right in this corner right here and bringing it up to kind of create a contour of the nose and eye area right here. But I'm doing it after I've laid down the majority of the product so that I don't get too much right here. And then I will go back and build this up a bit. I'm starting here and then softly pushing it over into the crease, but not a whole lot. I wish more brands would come out with all matte shadow palettes like this. All matte, ugh, it's just, I can use them a lot more than when they put like 10 glittery shades and two matte shadows, I'm like, really? <sighs> on a MAC 242, I'm going to grab this shade right here, tap off the extra and pop this on the lid. And I'm using padding motions so that I get the pigment right where I want it. And I'm going up to the crease, but not any further. And then without grabbing any more product, I'm just taking that fluffy brush and merging the two shades together. So it should look like that. Then on a NARS pencil brush, I'm going to grab that transition shade we used and put it all underneath the lower lash line. I'm going to use Max Chromographic Pencil in NC15 NW20 and put this into my lower waterline. And what this does is brighten up your eye and make it look really nice and awake and beautiful, if you ask me. And, but without it being the white inner rim that a lot of people do, because that can be really harsh, and this is just much more natural and soft. 
because this look is all about the bold lip, I'm skipping liner and going straight in with mascara, and I'm using a Max Upward Lash. Surprise, surprise. Now this did give me a nice effect on my lashes. I do like them, but I want to up it just a little bit with some MAC 33s. And these are still natural, but they just open up the eye a little bit more. Moving on to the face, I am first going to get rid of this little bit of shine I have using Laura Mercier's Translucent Setting Powder and this Sigma F35. I'm just going to pat this just on those areas. And I'm not putting very much. Now I have already bronzed my face. I used NARS Laguna and I'm going to go in with MAC Sunbask right here. You can see that I like this one and I'm going to pop this on the cheeks. I'm not going to bring this as forward as I usually do. I'm kind of keep it more backward. So I want to keep the face really fresh. I'm going to go in and lightly contour, and I'm using MAC's Taupe Blush today on a MAC 168 or 163, I can't remember. I'm just gonna do this lightly. MAC 187, and blend it all out. Today I want a little bit more of a golden undertone highlight, so I'm going to use NARS Albatross and just pop this on the tops of the cheekbones right here, and this is a Sephora fan brush. I gotta be careful with this one because I do feel like if I go overboard, I can add a little texture to the skin and I don't wanna do that. Put some on the bridge and the tip of the nose. Now time for that bold lip, and I'm using the new Miley Cyrus Viva Glam 2. So she's already had one, and that was like a pink color, and this is the second one she did, which is an orangey red. We know that my lips are already primed, and I'm going to go in and apply the Viva Glam lipstick. This is a matte finish, and so I'm going to apply this, and then I'm going to perfect the edges using a MAC 2, I'm sorry, 316 brush around the edges. I don't want to use liner because I'm going to use a darker liner on the outer corners. Make sure you're holding your lip brush more flat than going straight in like this because it's harder to do a good line like that. Now I'm going to take Max Cork Pencil and kind of start filling in these outer corners. And then I feather it in, but not too far. I stop kind of before the middle of the lip on the edges. Don't worry if you make a little mistake, we can go back in with concealer and fix it. Now that I've got both of the corners done, I'm going to take my lip brush again and kind of blend that color in so it's not just a brown line. So I'm just lightly going around the edges and just kind of tapping. Tapping and dragging, I guess. And now I'm going to pop the gloss on. And I'm mainly going to be doing this in the center of the lips. And there you go. That's the finished look. So in case you guys want to see what Miley Cyrus's new lipstick looks like against some of the other popular MAC lipsticks, I'm going to include some swatches for you guys. So on my hand, I have the Viva Glam Miley 2 Gloss. Russian Red, Ruby Woo, Lady Danger, which I think is the closest to it, 
and then the Miley 2 matte lipstick. And these are all the way. I would say the closest one would be Lady Danger. The only difference I really see is that the Miley is just a tidbit more red, especially on the lips. But then we have the biggest obvious difference, which is the fact that when you buy the Miley Viva Glam or any Viva Glam, every cent from that purchase is going to someone living with or affected by AIDS. So that's the MAC AIDS Fund. And so if I was gonna pick Lady Danger, or this guy, I would pick the Miley. So anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and come back.